Archer Aviation. It's been a roller coaster few weeks, but we have a US update. The market has been wild over the past few weeks, but we have an update today that is extremely positive when it comes to the US rollout of Archer Aviation. So I'm going to break down some of the news surrounding this, and then we're going to get straight into the update. But guys, there's one little thing I want to share today. It's not particularly Archer specific. However, it's a little trade that I've made. And this is not financial advice, but I think it's a must not miss opportunity for myself and race. So I've done this in my own personal portfolio, and I feel like doubling down in our Road to Glory challenge. So you've heard me speak about Redwire. And I'm so bullish about Redwire because they've acquired their VTOL company, Edge Autonomy. And the company's valued at about 950 million. So I've acquired Redwire around $12. And the market cap today, with a price of $14.12, is 939 million. Now, they've just acquired a company for 950 million. Guys, Make it make sense. For me, this is a must not miss opportunity. But everyone do your own due diligence and let me know if you're with me with it or is it a complete mistake. Anyway, let's get back to Archer Aviation and let's first look at what Trump has had to say. Now, before you click off, this is not the news. But I want you to get a notepad and just take down what you hear Trump saying in this. This is extremely bullish for the old eVTOL industry. However, this was a year ago, but this is going to play into exactly what has happened this week. So let's get right into it. Almost one third of the land mass of the United States is owned by the federal government, with just a very, very small portion of that land, just a fraction, one half of 1%. Would you believe that? We should hold a contest to charter up to 10 new cities and award them to the best proposals for development. In other words, we'll actually build new cities in our country again. These freedom cities will reopen the frontier, reignite American imagination, and give hundreds of thousands of young people and other people, all hardworking families, a new shot at home ownership and, in fact, the American dream. Another big opportunity is in transportation. Dozens of major companies in the United States and China are racing to develop vertical takeoff and landing vehicles for families and individuals. Just as the United States led the automotive revolution in the last century, I want to ensure that America, not China, leads this revolution in air mobility. These breakthroughs can transform commerce, bring a giant infusion of wealth into rural America, and connect families in our country in new ways. Likewise, through our Strategic National Manufacturing Initiative, which is going to be very big and very, very successful, we will turn forgotten communities into hives of industry, producing the goods we will no longer import from China, we will also have a major initiative on lowering the cost of living with a special focus on lowering the cost of a new car and lowering. So when I first seen this, I was extremely bullish for both Joby and Archer. And it kind of like helped me believe that Ehang won't come into the US anytime soon. However, then Trump then made a separate move that made me even more bullish about his vision for eVTOLs. And again, guys, this next bit is not the news. It gets even more exciting than that. So when I said Trump made another move to make me even more bullish about the eVTOL sector in the United States, this is exactly what I mean. He then appointed Secretary of Transportation, Secretary Duffy. So then if we look at an article about Secretary Duffy, you can see exactly what I mean. So, the swearing-in of the new Republican U.S. Transportation Secretary, Sean Duffy, this week has brought optimism and a hope for the eVTOL and drone industry after his positive comments about its future. Now, guys, 
This is why I'm not only bullish about Archer and Joby, but also this Redwire acquisition of Edge Autonomy, who focus on UAV drones. So, Doffy stated that he thinks they're in an amazing time because when you think of the Department of Transportation, you don't think of innovation. And what are we concentrating on? We're concentrating on innovative mode of transport. He stated, yeah, we are one of the most innovative spaces in the government. We are going to usher in a golden age. And what could he mean by a golden age? So whether it's drones or autonomous vehicles or EVTOs or Ubers in the air, another term for them. He believes they're in a race to beat the rest of the world. And it's critical to make sure that they have the rules in place to make America the best home for this innovation. So guys, Secretary Duffy wants America to lead this eVTOL space. Now I know he's had a pretty hard time when he first got appointed because you had that recent crash with the helicopter and you have the likes of the trouble they seem to have with air traffic. But guys, the news I want to share today is going to blow that out of the water. So let's get right to it. Hold up. Before we get into the big news, make sure to smash that like button so we share it out to more people. The more people that see this, the higher we rank in the algorithm. Therefore, this community grows in size, and therefore we have more archer aviation enthusiasts to talk with us. Right, let's get back to it. So guys, this is exactly why I showed you the Trump video. Adam Goldstein said last year, Donald Trump declared air mobility as one of the top priorities. And we've seen that in the video he's referring to. Yesterday, which was March 3rd, Transportation Minister Secretary Duffy invited Adam to DC to help him and the FAA Administrator understand how they can expedite Archer's launch into US cities. America will lead. Guys, now you can see why I'm so bullish. This is the exact secretary that was extremely bullish from the moment of appointment. Now he's inviting Adam for discussions about how to expedite the rollout of Archer's eVTOLs. I really want to ask you a question, and it's going to annoy some people. However, do you think Archer is now eclipsing Joby? I feel like with the backing of the Secretary of Transportation, and it feels like he's going to speed up the process for them to get in. Are they just going to leave Joby in the dust? Or have Joby been having these meetings in secret and not been pushing them out with PR? It feels like the same problem again and again. But do let me know about this. So I've doubled down on Redwire, I've added a bit of Rocket Lab, and added a bit of Joby. But what have I done with Archer? Well, guys, make sure to check out our bull case on Archer Aviation, and then you might find out exactly what our thoughts are 